Hello, scholars. Welcome to Photo 3. Super excited for a, a great semester. We have lots of really cool things planned for you. So I just want to take a few minutes and go over uh, the, the syllabus. This is your syllabus review. Um, there is a quiz associated with this presentation and the actual syllabus itself. So you need to watch this video and um, read the syllabus and then they'll be take the quiz to earn the points. All right, so let's get going here. Okay, so my contact information is uh, class is being co-taught um, by myself and by Mrs. Ajima. You can reach us at the, the emails that are posted there. Um, and we'll do our best to answer emails and phone calls within uh, 24 hours. Uh, my office hours are Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from uh, 3.50 to 4, so right after school. And uh, Friday mornings by appointment. Um, but if you uh, say you're going to be there and you don't show up... Um, that would be bad, so don't do that. Um, but if you tell me you're going to be there, I will show up when you are there. Um, I am not available on on Wednesdays. I have um, commitments that I have to uh, to do on Wednesdays, so that's the only day I'm not available. But every day, other day after school, and of course, you're always welcome to come in during independent study time um, as well. Okay, so uh, this is something that might be new for some of you, and for some of you, you've used this with me before. It's a text service called Remind. Um, it's really simple. It's a great way for us to communicate with each other, and uh, we don't have to give each other our phone numbers, which is great. Um, it's real simple. You just got to text the uh, at 4399DA to uh, 81010, or you can do it online at the, the link provided in there. This is also in your syllabus as well. This is worth points um, to sign up for this. I will send you reminders of when things are due. Um, also, it allows you to quickly answer uh, questions. This is, without a doubt, the best way to communicate with me. Um, and just so you know, I do have a do not disturb function on my phone. So after 10 p.m., I will not um, answer, but I'll answer first thing in the morning if it's after 10 p.m. So uh, this is something you need to sign up for. Okay, so uh, this is a skills-based class, and we will focus on helping uh, you refine um, your photography skills through exploration of advanced photographic techniques. You will apply um, advanced Photoshop and Lightroom techniques to create products. Um, for clients and the school. Um, the One of the biggest things is we will be creating a lot of products. We will be creating a lot of things we'll actually be using on campus so you get to see your work online and uh, printed and uh, making posters and, and things like that as well. Okay, the MYP outcomes. We um, are going to create and present art, develop uh, skills specific to the discipline, engage in a process of uh, creative exploration and self-discovery. Uh, I'm going to pause there for just a moment. One of the things you're going to be doing is exploring types of photography that you're interested in. Um, you're going to be encouraged to do that and, um, and then learn it and then teach others, which is kind of a cool idea. You're going to make purposeful connections between investigation and practice. Um, understand the relationship between art and its context, and respond to and reflect on art, and then deepen your understanding of the world around you. Okay, one of the biggest components, and this is something new, um, is work-based learning. Um, so you'll be required to do a total of 20 hours of work-based learning this semester. Um, to meet the requirements for the course. This is uh, essentially the equivalent of a summative assessment. Um, the way you earn your points um, is by the, uh, assisting on photo shoots with a program approved photographer, and we'll go over those specifically in class. Um, you can cover an extracurricular activity um, through photography and submit a minimum of 100 usable photos from that event. So uh, those would be like uh, academics, uh, plays, uh, sporting events, things like that. Dances would be another one. Uh, provide a photography service that is deemed beneficial to the school or community. Um, and then all these activities must be approved by the course instructors. So that would be Mrs. Ajima and myself. Uh, again, 20 hours. We'll go more in detail on that. This is the best way to get better at photography is to get out there and uh, do it, actually. Uh, so for the assessment will be Criterion's A, um, um, inquiry and analyzing, B, developing ideas, C, creating the solution, and D, evaluating. And then you'll have your approaches to learning grades as well. Um, and there'll be four summative assessments. Um, 
for approximately 15% uh, of your grade as well. And we should be all familiar with this at this point, um, but basically anything under a 65%, so 64.9 or less, is a zero. Um, and then it breaks up from there. So an eight would be 100%. Um, and so on and so forth. It breaks down from there. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. We're going to go over the impact of what a zero does to your grade. Um, it's really important that you uh, turn stuff in. Okay, the supplies for this class is you need a minimum of a 32 gigabyte thumb drive and a 16 gigabyte SD card. Um, and I would highly recommend no micro SD cards. Um, you're going to want an actual one with a, a write speed rating of 10. That's super important um, that you have those two things um, so you can take your pictures. Um, if you plan on using the Nikons, this is a little side note, you might want to invest in a uh, compact flash card as well. Okay, so one of the keys to success in this class is by utilizing something I've developed for you called the course outline. And this is actually a part of your syllabus. So I'm going to pop over there really fast. Okay, so this course outline, like I said, is a part of your syllabus. And each week is broken down by the date, the unit that we're in, and then the topic. So on week one, we're going to be discussing classroom policies, procedures, your final portfolio, work-based learning, introduction. We're going to go over the global context, key concepts, and statement of inquiry. And then um, basic video production, storyboarding, and editing. And then your project for the exposure triangle, ISO, shutter speed, and aperture. Um, it also has your due dates. So you know that this week, these are all the things that are going to be due that week. This is a tool that uh, I would highly recommend you interact with. You can go right through, and Google Classroom is going to match this. So you'll be able to go in and uh, um, work ahead a little bit if you need to balance your time a little bit. I know we have some athletes in the class, and that's going to be super important to... Uh, Kind of keep yourself on track, but you're always going to know what's coming and when things are due. And if you ask me when something's due, I'm just simply going to say it's in the syllabus. So uh, I recommend you uh, three hole punch this and put it uh, somewhere where you can actually uh, interact with it. Okay, uh, let's go over excuse absences. Short version here, folks 24 hours. Um, uh, your parents have to. Uh, um, Verify the absence. Um, school may require a letter for hospital or clinic when a parent has not notified the school of an appointment or medical uh, dental major. Um, you get full makeup privileges. and credit will be given for, for an excused absence. You're given one day of makeup time for each day missed. We'll, uh, of course, I'll work with you upon the return of the absence. Um, to either provide makeup work um, outside of school or when uh, allowable and work with the scholar during the school day on hands-on assignments that cannot be replicated outside of the classroom. Um, athletes, um, or uh, actually this would apply to also uh, you know people involved in performing arts and things like that too. If you're on trips or anything like that, if it's a planned school absence, so a game, a production, something like that, you need to complete summative assessments before it is due if it is a planned absence. Um, there will be no retakes or makeup on any of the uh, summative assessments. So plan accordingly. All right, excuse absences um, are absences that parents, I'm sorry, unexcused absences are, um, are absences that parents do not verify or authorize. Um, students will, with unverified absences are encouraged to make up missed work, but will not receive credit for that work. The school shall furnish parents and guardians notification of East unexcused absence. So in other words, don't ditch. All right, lay work policy. This is something that was instituted this year, so this should not be uh, new for everyone. Um, but it's um, you can turn in late work up to one week after it, the due date. No, no late work after the conclusion of the unit. And the highest grade you can receive um, is a three. All right. Um, the redo policy, you'll be given the opportunity to redo any assignments if it was turned in on time. Um, so it's best to turn in something that's not perfect, knowing that you can redo it later versus not turning it in. Um, you have to complete a reflection form along with any uh, redone assignments. And just so you know, there are no redos on some of the assessments or the final 
um, assessment. All right, project pass for successfully turning in the supplies and passing the syllabus quiz. Scholars will receive a project pass. This project pass can be used on, on uh, assignments and projects. The project pass excludes summative assessments and the final assessment. If you do not use your project pass, you can actually use it to replace your lowest grade in the class. So uh, get those supplies turned in and, and pass this quiz. All right, so classroom expectations. We're going to go over these uh, together in class. The best ability is availability. Um, being in class is nothing replaces that. So do your best to be in class. Um, tardies, um, when the door closes, um, you're considered tardy. We will be using the burn coin system again, so you can buy your way in if that's the case. Um, you can earn those by, uh, you know, cahoots and, uh, and turning in excellent work. Um, academic dishonesty, dishonesty uh, will not be allowed. Um, it's really easy for me to check photographs and when they were taken and um, just remember there's cameras everywhere so um, just don't do that. Um, cell phones are gonna we're gonna use the pockets in the back of the room we'll go over that more in detail on day one and then your computers should be used for um, not gaming not social media but rather for um, school related activities so uh, no instant messaging um, and we're not going to be using our computers too often because we're going to be doing so much uh, cool stuff. So uh, use those computers. If I see you gaming, I'm just going to simply take your computer and you can pick it up later. All right. So the quiz I've been talking about, um, you can, this is due on Thursday. You have to receive 100% on it to earn the points. Um, but you can retake it as many times as you need to to get that 100%. So if it takes you 10 tries, that's no problem. Take it 10 times. Um, but you have to get 100% to get the points. So um, this will be available in Google Classroom. So please hit us up if you have any questions. We have some really cool stuff planned for this semester. So check out that course outline. And I'm excited to uh, get things going. So have a great day, scholars. Thanks for your time. Bye.